cat will come back and try that way. So let's go. All right, so the light's fading quite a bit. I'm at the 4K mark, got this big log to jump over. Now the track through this last half a K isn't that well defined, but as long as you stay to the right hand side of the, the river, you should be fine. I think those signposts back there were probably for an easier route over the mountain, just in case this section floods. I think when the river gets high, but we'll keep on going. All right, so it's pretty dark. This section is getting quite difficult. So you're really hugging the river, climbing lots of rocks. So probably soon it's gonna be pretty black, so I'm not gonna be able to get much more footage. But uh, I'll still give you updates all the way through. Might have to come back here again during the day to give you a look what it looks like the whole way through. Well, let's go. Alright guys, I'm about 5k in. It's pretty dark out here now. Just had a bit of a fall. Down a little one meter embankment. Oh, Grays my chin. Fuck, it hurts. Oh. It's not too bad. So I've just reached the bend in the river. It's about halfway mark. Um, I've got quite a steep climb down now. Oh, my first dunk in the river. Just ankle deep. You won't be able to see it, but there's this cliff face. You really gotta go over it or under it. I went under it and I fell in. Might be a better option going over, but I don't like the way down. But, um, I'm in the absolute thick of it now. But uh, we'll keep going to see how things happen. There's a big fight clearing here. Fuck, those last couple of caves were bad. Let's hope the next few will be easier. It's getting very late. Hope the wife's not worrying. I told her it'd take about four hours. So we're a couple of hours in. And with all this videoing, it's been slowing me down. But uh, there's not much to see, so hopefully these next few sections I'll get through pretty quickly. So let's get going. Just give you a look at what I can see. But it ain't much. At least the ground's flat. It sort of looks like there's a bit of a path. The hangers jumping around in the distance. Fuck <laughs> now, Bucky. When you walk into me friend, that just scared the bejesus out of me. Right. It's, uh, it's a thing walking at night. God knows what you got to walk into. Give another look at him. All right, we'll leave him alone. Got seven. Right. Keep going. No signposts at all. You know, there's a, a river on the left of me and a cliff face on the right of me. And as long as I keep following the river, I should be right. pre-downloaded uh, GPS maps for this region before I came out uh, I knew last time I came down here there was just no signal whatsoever I think it's pumped, popped into range probably once the whole time I've been out so pretty much no coverage alright which should be the dead end to work out what's going on. Oh. All right, 5.6 k's in. Just had to climb a very steep embankment. 
Oh, it's following the, the river, got a bit lost. Shouldn't have been following the river. So I've gone off track a bit, but I think I've found the, the track, which takes me back to the car. Still another 4K to go. So still feeling good. Again, heart's pumping. Sweating a bit, as you can see. But uh, we'll keep going. I'll give you an update about the okay. K. See you guys. All right. Whew. First sign in a very long time. Very poorly signed this track, or oh, I'm just missing them. Do I go to the left and it's the western viewpoint? Or I'll go to the right and that's the way back to the car. So if I get to the western viewpoint, it's pitch black so there's nothing to see. So take the trail back to the car. But mate, this last oh, call on a well, half a kilometer has been all uphill and pretty damn steep. Anyway, I'm here. It's well enough, keep going. Okie dokie. Oh, bit of a flat path now. 6.7k in. The stars are absolutely beautiful. Alright, we're at emergency marker WER006. We've got Twerry Gorge Circuit Walk. We'll work out which way we're going now. See that one? Unstable cliff. All right, let's work out where we're going. All right, 7.3 k's in. Feeling good, pretty much downhill. Um, we're at the eastern viewpoint. And again, I ain't gonna check it out because there's not much of a view at the night time. But we're on a track now. So it's a hell of a lot easier. So uh, we're going to continue down to the right here and there's uh, either a long way or a short way back to the car. Again, it's been going for almost three hours now so um, I'm going to take the short one back to the car. The wife would probably be wondering where I am. But uh, I'm all good and I'll hopefully when I get to the car and drive, drive out a little bit and there'll be some reception and I can give her a buzz. Alright, keep going. Alright, so like I said before, I was looking for this <laughs> short circuit walk. So I've got Railway Gorge, that's where I've just come from. So you've got the Gorge Circuit Walk to the right, and the short one to the right. So that's fantastic, let's go that way. But no, then you go over here, and there's another short circuit walk. <laughs> so um, I know, based on the map of my GPS, I've got to take this one to the right. So, uh, let's go this way. I think we'll be fine. All right, so I'm almost eight k's in, and this last section's all been downhill. And um, <laughs> I've got to say, I'm in agony. Oh, fuck, going uphill is hard work, right? Gets the heart pumping. But coming downhill, oh, starting to cramp up in the thighs. My knees are sore, shins are sore. Carves us all. Um, but before this downhill section, um, I was right as rain, other than being a little bit puffed. I was thinking about tackling this a different way next time, just for the amount of uphill section, but this amount of downhill section, oh, it's killing me. Anyway, I'll keep going. Alright, I'm at the end of my track. I've just seen a car driving in the distance. If nothing uh, untoward is going to happen. But um, I'll just keep wandering on over. Hopefully there will be no issues. But yeah, not far now. Alright. <laughs> I finally made it. 10.1Ks. Uh, um, 3 hours and 50 minutes. Like it was hard work. Um, it wasn't too bad, and again, I'm not, I'm not the fittest, but um, I came out of it okay. My legs were a bit sore. Um, I'm gonna get what come out to get these pants off 
see how bad the damage is to my left shin from falling down that embankment. Um, my boots are full of water from falling into the river, um, knee deep. Um, towards the end there, I was getting a bit worried when I saw that car rock up in the distance in the middle of nowhere. Uh, turns out it was just a couple of guys. Um, I think I went bong on a bit. Got the campfire. <laughs> Looking for some firewood to get a campfire going. Um, thought they might uh, chop me up to little pieces and feed me to the dingoes out here. <laughs> but uh, no, overall it was a really good walk. Um, again, quite a difficult one to take on in the night. Um, especially that last little bend. And um, there's one particular section which is quite nasty. Um, definitely wouldn't take like that at night time. Um, but even at daytime would be quite difficult as well. But there is a shortcut. So um, I'll come out another time and show you where that shortcut is. Anyway, it's 11.30 at night. Um, the wife's going to be wondering where I am. <laughs> so I'd better get myself into range and um, send her a text and tell her I'm safe. Um, and yeah, until next time. See you guys.